Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the SU25 Frogfoot, the non-T version, and we're looking at unguided bombs. So if we open up the armament screen, note to arm this aircraft, you must have your canopy open, your engines off and spooled down. We can have bombs on pylons two to nine. We can have bombs in the form of a BET AB500 or a BET AB500 SHP. These are anti-infrastructure or anti-runway bombs. This one is retarded. This one is retarded and rocket fired. We've had good success using them on runways. The FAB series, these are non-guided, slick, high-explosive munitions similar to the NATO Mark 82, 83, 84 series. 100 kilo overall, 250 kilo overall, 500 kilo overall. And in the same vein, we've got a multiple ejection rack, an MBD2 67U that can carry four times FAB 100s. Then we've got the dispensers. These dispenser canisters stay attached to the aircraft but dispense small submunitions. We have two flavors. Each carries 96 munitions of AO, which is the anti personnel 2.5 kilo RT submunition, or the PTAP anti armor 2.5 kilo AO submunition. Then we have the RBKs. These are cluster bombs. So the canisters drop from the aircraft, similar to a Mark 20 Rockeye. Then they separate in midair and the submunitions fall to earth. We've got the 250 series and the 500 series. That is the kilo total of the canister. For the 250s, we have an anti armor 2.5 kilo mic submunition or an anti personnel, which is a 275. This is an AO 1SCH. These are 1 kilo anti personnel submunitions. Onto the 500 series. This here is a PTAP anti armor 1 kilo submunitions or the 255 series PTAP anti armor 10.5 kilo submunitions or the UOAB 2.5 kilo airburst RT anti personnel submunitions. And finally, the SAB 100. These are illumination bombs which last between 1 and 5 minutes for relatively high altitude use. For today, we're going to have a good mix. On the inner racks 5 and 6, we're going to have the multiple ejection racks with the Fab 100s. Pylons 4 and 7, we will have the dispenser canisters, anti armor flavor. Pylons 3 and 8, I'm going to have iron bombs in a Fab 500 kilo Mic 62 version. And finally, Pylons 2 and 3, we'll go for the RBKs, the 500 series. And we'll go for, I think, the PTAB uh, 1 mics. I'm not sure if that's going to damage our targets, but it certainly, it certainly will look cool with 1 kilo sub munitions. Let's arm up. Let's look at today's controls. To drop the bombs, push and or push and hold weapon fire to switch to air to ground mode that to cycle between weapon stations that next to change our ripple quantity select like that to increase or decrease our ripple interval that there to raise and lower our aiming glass our gun sight that and that to toggle on and off our laser range fighter which we'll need that there let's start by going air to ground mode we look at our weapons pylon display here we can see we have the various stations we choose them in pairs which we can cycle between them with weapon chains that's our multi rack bombs our rbk 500s our fab 500s and that's our kgmu dispensers we'll start with the multi rack 100 kilos so we've got these two knobs here this one here, which is our ripple quantity, how many pylons do we want to pulse? We've got two possible pylons with this type of weapon that we can pulse. Do we want to pulse just one at a time? Do we want to pulse two of them? Do we want to pulse four of them? Do we want to pulse all of them? And in collaboration with that, we have this knob here. What time do we want to pulse between those pylons? Do we want to pulse them simultaneously? Do we want to pulse them with 0.1 seconds, 0.2, 0.3, or 0.4 seconds between the pulses? And Sepna is a special mode for the KGMU. Do you want to read out what the Sepna does, uh, Onslaught? It is a special release mode for the KGMU submunition dispenser and multiple ejection rack. The KMGU submunitions will be dispensed at a two second interval while the multiple ejection rack are released at 0 0.3 seconds intervals. Thank you very much. And their quantity much. is specified by the salvo size switch on the right now. So for this example, I would like to drop both the racks, four bombs, so eight bombs total, and I would like to have a separation of 0 0.3 seconds in between rack pulses. We can drop these bombs in two different methods, CCIP and CCRP. Generally described, CCRP as a dive bombing technique where we just choose a location on the ground where we want to drop and pull the trigger. 
CCRP is a little different where we drop these either in a dive or in level flight on a pre-selected area on the terrain. We will drop the FAB 100, 250, 500 and the multiple ejection rack FAB 100 and RBKs with the CCIP method and the KMGUs, the Spencer canisters will be using the CCRP method. So we'll do the CCIP dive bombing first. And the different bombs have different requirements, but it's generally safe to say that we're going to drop in an airspeed envelope of between 500 kilometers an hour to 700 kilometers an hour with a dive of approximately 10 to 20 degrees from at least 2000 meters AGL. We're going to unpause, get in that bomb profile and we'll explain the symbology as we go further. Targets identified on our left, 2000 meters, rolling in from the east. Change our aiming glass if we need to. Next we're going to turn our laser range finder on. Note that the laser range finder will be on and show a green light. It can only last one minute at a time before it needs turning it off to cool down. Once we are in range of the target to drop the bombs and have launch authority, we will have an orange light showing here. That's when we drop the bombs. If we are too close to drop the bombs, then a red light pull-up queue will show here. Regards to our symbology here, we've got our CCIP aiming cross here. That dot there on the terrain shows where our bomb will fall in our current dive. So it's just essentially we need to aim at that on the target once we're in range. That there is our roll cue currently showing we're slightly wings left. That is perfectly wings level. That is 30 right, 60 degrees right, 90 degrees right. It is imperative that we do wings level for dropping bombs. This is our range scale here. That's zero range in terms of slant range from us to the ground projected through our CCIP pipper there. That is our current range. It will reduce as we get closer. Once we get to the certain point are in range, then our orange light will show that we can drop the bombs and we need to drop the bombs and complete before the red light shows here. We'll use our ADI here to determine the steepness of our dive. We're currently about 15 degrees, which is perfect. And you can see we're diving below there and we're perfectly within our 500 to 700. So let's go in for a drop. Let's wait for the orange light, put it on the target, retrim to suit, off the power. Wait for a wait, wait, wait. And drop. Boom! Haha, <laughs> gotcha. We need to turn our laser ranger off uh, after we've done our bomb ring. Next is going to be our two Mark 62 Fab 500s. So let's put them there. That's got them selected. We're going to drop two pylons selected here, so we're going to pulse both pylons. I want to choose here with instantaneous or salvo, so I'm going to change the ripple interval back to zero. So we drop both at the same time. Let's get up to 2,000 meters AGL and go for another drop. You can adjust your gun sight glass as required. 2,000 AGL turning in. Laser Ranger on. Right, let's see if we can get rid of these guys. Ranger's coming down. Launch authority, drop. Good salvo. The RBK 500s now. We're going to drop these in CCIP mode, standard. So that is going to be a dive bombing technique again. Notice that there is a minimum drop altitude of 300 meters AGL, about 1,000 feet. So let's climb up to our 2,000 again for our ingress. 2,000 AGL now, turning in. Adjust my glass. Laser rangefinder on, watch my speed, and in we go. Drop. <laughs> Get some. Very good. Next we're going to do CCRP type dropping, and we're going to start with, I think, think are dispensers so we're going to choose the dispensers there we can go in a dive or level for this probably even in an ascent i don't know why you'd ever want to do it in this case we do not need our 2000 meters agl ingress altitude okay we're running on the target now we're going to do a low level level bombing for this probably need to aim our glass down a bit for this it's automatically selected to ccrb aiming mode you do not need to do it yourself Range the range finder on what we're going to do in this case is to position the CCIP cross on a target, then push and hold the weapon fire button, then fly wings level directly over the target, at which point the bombs will be dropped 
not by us but by the weapon control system will pulse the pylons and drop them so it works a different way key is to keep wings level once we press and hold the button so let's give that a go okay get some of these guys over here so wings level push and release Oh, not bad. Nice. The damage those one kilo P tabs can do. It's just amazing. So that shows you using the different types of bombs and dispensers, CCRB and CCRB mode. Note that when we're finished, we can get rid of the remaining canisters, left control and whiskey. Off they go. I hope that was useful and see you later.